we've crossed the border to Glasgow, Scotland's unofficial capital. It's had a tough reputation, but recent cultural success has changed its image. We'll be checking out the shopping delights. Getting some culture. And more. And if that wasn't enough, these three Glaswegians will be watching and judging who's had the best day out. So who's going to win this week? Red corner, since he's a local lad, Stevie has an unfair advantage in Glasgow. But nothing will stop me from winning again. In the blue corner, Fish Out Water and Natalie may be doing well in the competition, but that's all about to change. Stevie, I think we should be getting on with this. Okay, just because I'm better at pouting than you. Whatever. I think you should take this. I just think you'll need it. So while Natalie is getting her bearings, I've come to the world-famous Kelvin Grove, which, after a century, is still Glasgow's cultural hotspot. But there's actually 22 galleries, and they hold within them about 8,000 objects, be it natural history objects, or sculptures, or paintings. We've had over 5 million visitors which makes us the most popular visitor attraction in Scotland. And of course it's free as well, which makes it all the better. The art in the museum is world class, but I've discovered there's more to Kelvin Grove than meets the eye. Tucked away in the basement is a space intended to bring the museum to a whole new generation. But what's with all the white? The idea was to design something that was very futuristic, so everything in the room is white and silver. And we wanted it to look unlike anything else you'd find at a museum, so that people's perceptions of an old, sort of dusty place with very stuffy curators and things that were to be looked at but not touched could be completely flipped on its head and that this space would be appealing to people that perhaps might not feel that museums are for them. But Kelvin Grove isn't the only museum in Glasgow. The lighthouse offers phenomenal views of the city, while the Gallery of Modern Art and the Borough Collection provide a more contemporary experience. While Stevie tries to fill his pretty little head, I'm going to try Glasgow on for size. Buchanan, Saki Hall and Argyle Streets make up the Golden Z, with over two and a half miles of retail heaven. But more than shops line the streets. After that performance, I have an idea. Or maybe not. But where does Glasgow get its style? Do we have time for a montage? Diesel, I love my diesel jeans and diesel jackets, things like that. I go to Fred Berry a lot um, in Topman. H&M, I'm a bit of a H&M slut, I must say. Urban Outfairs, uh, Top Shop, stuff like that. You can get a lot of this stuff from charity shops, you can mix and match and it actually looks a lot more expensive than it is. My scarf is from a charity shop, it was 25 pence. <laughs> so it looks like the High Street is the home of the Glasgow Catwalk. But I've strayed to one of Glasgow's hidden gems, a shop called Bullshit. These are all made with organic materials and it's not that pricey and it's all fair trade. I could definitely do some damage in here. Oh, this is so pretty. Do. 
One more. All this shopping has worked up an appetite. Come on, Stevie, let's get a bite. So, Natalie, you're still here. What is that supposed to mean? I just didn't think you'd make it through the day. For your information, I didn't use the map you gave me at all. Oh, really? Really. Well, you're gonna really have to pull out the bag if you're gonna win tonight. I've got some tricks up my sleeve. Mm, we'll see. Bon appetit. May the best presenter win. After a long and hectic day, I'm off to chill at Glasgow's most romantic and decadent night spot. Glasgow Film Theatre is Glasgow's only independent film house. With only two screens and a modest cafe, it's a much more intimate alternative to an enormous multiplex. It becomes the place to be during the film festival season, where directors have their UK premieres here. So it's a great opportunity for the viewers to meet the people behind the film. But the fact is, is that you're actually in a really interesting place, you're in a really cultural place. This is part of Glasgow. It's not just a film house. This is an experience. But what really puts the bums on seats? You can go and you can have a drink in the bar and then you go up to the film and there's a different kind of crowd and it's a different atmosphere altogether. It's always good because we have, there's a woman that plays the piano beforehand so it's very quite old-fashioned, traditional. Places like The View and things like that, also the prices are, are quite, quite high in comparison. And they'll show films you can't see anywhere else or maybe if you missed it in the multiplex it'll still be on there. It's more special, I like it, definitely. So, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the film. I wonder what I'm talking about. So maybe I do cover music a lot, but you can't come to Glasgow without checking out the music scene, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. We're very lucky that we've got a great reputation that people really want to play here. The crowd are up for it, they interact a lot more, they sing a lot more, there's just a great vibe. There's always been a great range of venues, bands playing, bands want to play and also local bands as well, which is part of it. You get a great variety, and that also means then that you get to see the future stars. You, you feel that you're, you're very close to the band that's playing. You can see them, they interact with you, and I think they get a lot from the crowd in Glasgow. Whereas sometimes you feel in certain cities, you just put it all into the crowd, and the crowd go, thanks very much, and go home, and you've had nothing back. So yeah, I don't even know if they've actually enjoyed it, other than they've clapped at the right bits, which could just be polite. So, I. People, great people. Planning a trip to Glasgow? To find out more about the places we visited today, log on to our website at t4.com forward slash discover. Right, well, we've both had a great day, but it's not over yet. It's time for the judging. Are you nervous, Stevie? <laughs> no. I think this person discovered the true essence of Glasgow. Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I feel that Mr. Red here discovered the true essence of Glasgow. Oh, no. Just Kelvin Grove and the GFT are f***ing Aldi! I think it discovered a lot about the culture side of Glasgow, but the music scene is kind of where the heart oh, no. of Glasgow is, so that's why I'm going blue. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I can't believe Glasgow betrayed me. We well, always have next week when we go to Belfast. And I'm gonna make sure they have enough red card. Well, don't worry, Stevie, we have a consolation prize for you. It's a national Scottish dish, deep fried haggis. Mmm. So, what exactly is haggis, anyways? <laughs>